Tomo News presents the best new technology of 2017 so far. Jetpack Company comes out with electric VTOL concept. After giving the world its first working jetpack, David Maimon and company are bringing to life yet another science fiction dream, flying cars. Jetpack Aviation is designing a new single-seat electric multicopter equipped with six arms, 12 propellers, and landing balls instead of skids. Each arm on the VTOL aircraft comes with two propellers, one mounted on top and another underneath. They spin in opposite directions. The flying car will only be able to travel up to 90 miles per hour and operate up to 20 minutes before it needs to be recharged. Two of the middle arms will be designed to fold in so that the vehicle will be low and thin enough to fit inside a garage. Jetpack Aviation is currently developing a safety system for the project, with the team estimating that they will begin building the device in about six months. China finds a new way to get rid of rubbish on power lines. China is using drones to burn down trash stuck to power lines. But is that safe? The fire-spewing drone emits flames via a one-meter-long tube. It uses liquefied petroleum gas for fuel. The drone can be operated by maintenance workers remotely. China's power company Flames can burn up trash stuck to wires within 15 minutes, which isn't a long enough duration to cause damage to the aluminum-coated power wires. The power company says this method is not only more efficient to get rid of waste stuck to power lines, but it also reduces the risk of maintenance workers being electrocuted by high-voltage lines. This six-rotor personal drone would be an awesome way to get around. Ever since the Jetsons, who hasn't dreamed of owning a flying car? That day an electrical vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can replace the gas guzzler in the driveway. But what if you just want a zipper on the neighborhood? Well, then the Solexa is the whip for you. The Solexa is designed for shorter flights of about 20 minutes. Imagine skipping over traffic on your way to work. Or you and a friend can explore the countryside in a Solexa, which is way cooler than taking an ATV. Its designers also think the police might find the Solexa useful. Cops riding a Solexa could quickly respond to a crime scene and then report back to a command center. Navigation would be automated. Punch in coffee shop and the Solexa is programmed to take you there. The Solexa has a 200 pound payload, a 30 meter height ceiling, and a maximum flying time of about 20 minutes. At this point, the concept is just a concept, much like flying cars that fold into a briefcase. This pill can deliver all the drugs you need. Researchers at MIT and Brigham and Women's Hospital have developed a single capsule that can gradually release medication over an extended period of time. Medication is loaded into the arms of the star-shaped pill. The arms can be folded inward to form a single capsule. The acid in the stomach dissolves the outer layer of the capsule, thus allowing the six arms to unfold. The star shape then allows the capsule to stay inside the stomach instead of being immediately pushed through the digestive tract. Animal tests confirm that the capsule is able to gradually release medication over two weeks' time. After the last dose is released, the arms of the capsule break apart, allowing it to travel through the body's digestive system. Experts say this technology could be used to help treat malaria and many other diseases. Dragonflies can be used to spy on you. Scientists have created a technology that can turn flying insects into surveillance drones. The technology makes use of a tiny backpack equipped with solar power and navigation systems. The backpack is fitted onto a dragonfly and commands the insect with optogenetics, a biological technique that uses light to control the steering neurons inside the insect's nerve cord. Dragonflies can then be turned into tiny surveillance systems. The same setup can be applied to other insects of a similar size, such as honeybees. Other applications of this technology may include guided pollination, payload delivery, and precision medicine and diagnostics. More truck drivers may want to start tailgating. A technology company has developed a platooning system for U.S. trucks in order to help them save fuel. 
trucks equipped with a platooning device have cameras and monitors to display real-time video of the road. The lead truck communicates to other trucks every 30 milliseconds by radio signals. The trucks can be separated up to 50 feet. The lead truck sets the pace and other trucks follow suit automatically. Drivers are still present in all of the trucks, but they can see the conditions on the road ahead of the lead truck on their monitors. The company says platooning can help the lead truck save 4.5% on fuel on average, while the trucks behind can save as much as 10%. The system is expected to be launched later this year. Trucks equipped with this technology will initially travel in convoys of two in order to allow other vehicles space to merge onto highways. Israeli company wants to build electric roads that can charge buses and cars. Imagine if you could charge your electric car or bus simply by driving. That is the vision of Israeli company Electrode. Electrode has designed a system that charges electric vehicles by embedding energy transfer coils in the road. As a vehicle such as a bus travels over the coils, its battery is charged wirelessly. Electrode claims it can lay two kilometers of energy transfer coils in a day. Road is dug up by one machine. The coils are laid. Then another machine buries the coils under bitumen. Roadside equipment helps to monitor electricity usage. Electrode hopes to begin testing the system with a public bus in Tel Aviv. Wireless sensor can activate police cameras automatically. A new product designed for law enforcement officers can trigger their body cameras to start recording automatically. The signal sidearm is a wireless sensor attached to an existing police firearm holster. It can also be integrated into dash cameras, body cams, and other wearable cameras such as head cams. When a gun is drawn from a holster, the sidearm triggers all cameras within 30 feet to begin recording automatically. This allows footage of the same event to be recorded from different perspectives. The product will be available in the third quarter of 2017. This room can charge your phone the moment you walk in. Disney Research has successfully turned a room into a wireless charging station. Quasi-static cavity resonance is a method that induces electrical currents in an enclosed metallic structure. Power generated and amplified outside the room is picked up by a coil receiver inside the room, then transmitted to discrete capacitors inside a copper pole. The induced currents flow through the pole, ceiling, walls, and floor, generating an electromagnetic field. Ten devices were powered by the room simultaneously in this experiment. Researchers conducted the study according to federal safety guidelines and believe this method should cause no harm to the human brain or body. Car parks could become the lungs of a city. Dutch company ENS Technology has installed air purification systems in car parks in the city of Gurk, which have proven to be able to substantially improve air quality. ENS's technology's air purification system is called the Ofuro, which can remove fine and ultrafine dust particles from the air. Polluted air is absorbed into the system by a fan. The air is then ionized, forcing the fine and ultrafine dust particles to settle onto a collector's surface and transform into coarse dust. The system has proven to be able to reduce fine dust concentration by more than 70% inside car parks and by about 50% in the surrounding area. The director of ENS Technology says the company plans to implement the air purification system in a variety of infrastructures, such as tunnels, trains, and bus stations. San Diego could become the smartest city in the U.S. San Diego is partnering with General Electric to upgrade the city's streetlights into a digital network that can optimize traffic and enhance public safety. More than 3,000 streetlights in San Diego will be equipped with real-time anonymous sensors, cameras, and microphones. The streetlights will be connected to form an IoT network. The streetlights can measure air quality, locate vacant parking spaces, monitor traffic flow of vehicles and pedestrians, as well as detect gun violence. 
The city will also replace 14,000 streetlights with technology that allows them to dim or brighten manually or automatically according to natural light conditions. The installation will begin this summer with the potential for 3,000 more sensors to be added in the future. India gets set for nationwide cashless payment system. India will be one step closer to becoming a cashless society after introducing this technology. Dubbed Bharat QR Code, the payment system lets customers buy items by using their smartphone to scan a quick response code generated by the store. This is expected to eliminate the need for card swipe machines for electronic transactions, with stores using codes instead. Unlike most mobile wallet apps, the Bharat QR codes aren't restricted to one bank or payment system. They can be used across most payment terminals. It operates in two ways. Users can have a QR code for one store and pay by entering their PIN. Or the store can create a code for separate transactions, with no PIN entry required. With the country's demonetization crisis hitting the rupee hard, New Delhi hopes their population of 1.2 billion will be quick to adopt the new cashless system. Three-wheel car turns into a flying gyrocopter. Dutch company Palvi has designed a car that can fly you out of traffic jams. The Palvi Liberty can easily shift from flight mode to drive mode. The vehicle is about the size of a regular car and can carry two people. The car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 9 seconds. Its lowered suspension system allows it to tilt when going into curves. The manufacturer suggests using a runway at least 280 meters long for takeoff. The car has a maximum operating altitude of 3,500 meters. It can land on an airstrip that is significantly shorter than what it needs to take off from. If you're interested in getting behind the wheel of one of these bad boys, you'll need both a driver's license and a pilot's license. Tech is taking over. All around the world, machines are slowly taking up tasks once reserved for humans. In the hospitality industry, customer service and satisfaction is the end game, and what better to cater to your needs than an inexhaustible programmable automaton? Hotels in the future could be entirely staffed by machines, starting with realistic-looking cyborgs welcoming guests at the front desk. Checking in will be done via a self-service kiosk, which includes facial authentication for keyless entry. A robot-operated cloakroom will be available for guests who need to store or retrieve belongings. Instead of a bellhop, an electric porter will carry luggage while leading the way to the guest's room. Smart room controls detect motion and adjust lighting and temperature accordingly. Items may be bought or requested and will be delivered directly to the rooms. With a phone call notifying guests that their items have arrived. Room controls could also be programmed to provide wake-up calls. Smart window displays could be incorporated to provide guests with information relevant to their trip. Likewise, robots will be in charge of housekeeping, tidying up rooms quickly and efficiently. Soon, even meals will be prepared by programmable robot arms and then served by robotic waiters. A robot concierge will also be on hand 24-7 to answer guests' questions and help with booking and arrangements. Fully automated hotels may not be too far off. Japan already has the Hena Hotel in Nagasaki, with more on the way. Of course, not everyone is on board with the idea, as some argue the loss of human interaction may have an impact on overall customer satisfaction. What do you think?